to you internet people guess what I found <clears throat> I found some good old gun cotton and when I say old I mean I found two year old gun cotton I forgot I had it but I made it two summers ago do you think it's still fast it's unstabilized just regular nitrocellulose the stuff tends to degrade over time unless it's stabilized but let's Let's see what it does. It's pretty dang old. It feels a little sticky and the fibers are weak. And it does have a, a little bit of a weird burning smell to it. It's very fragile. The fibers are, have weakened quite a bit. We'll do this over my sink. Woo! Not, not very fast at all. Yeah, this stuff's not nearly as fast as uh, as my fresh, freshly homemade gun cotton is. I'll link some videos down below. You guys can check it out. But it's still going to be fun. We're going to do some cool slow-mo shots with it and uh, see what it looks like. A longish string in here. There we go. Something like that. wouldn't hold that in my hand and burn it like I do in these other videos this stuff is definitely different it does it's very weak feeling it like the fibers break apart and it, there's a lot of like dust left in the bag I'm gonna burst burn a pile here and check it out Ooh, crunchy. It doesn't feel, ooh, the wind's blowing through my window. It's kind of crunchy. Feels like sand. Huh. When it's not fully nitrated well, and you freshly make it, it leaves like a, an ash behind, but doesn't feel gritty like that. I wonder what, that, that's just carbon left behind? Maybe I should save that. That little black powder. Let's do another one. Let's, let's make it go round. Haha. <laughs>
Hey, thanks for watching my video, guys. I'm going to make some more gun cotton and do some more stuff. I, I love pyro tanks, but you know, I have other interests too. But more, more pyro coming. Maybe I should just go out there and blow up a big firecracker right now just to prove it to you after I finish my outro. Watch my outro. I'll take one of my big red firecrackers out there and blow something up after the outro. But anyway, you know what? Um, I set up a Buy Me a Coffee account. It's kind of like Patreon, but it's better, I hope, because Patreon turned out to suck. So um, it's buymeacoffee.com. Just look for buymeacoffee.com.shell. Not dot .shell. I don't know how to find it. Just find it and give me some money because I got hospital bills and coffee bills. But anyway, go check that out. I'm also thinking about opening up membership on YouTube. I, I can do it. I just hadn't done it yet. So uh, keep an eye out for that, guys. If you guys want to help support the channel, um, this is my pitch for, you know, begging for money. I'll find, maybe I should find some links for you guys to make it easier. Anyway, cheers. Let's go out back and blow up something. All right, guys. One of my infamous one gram homemade flash powder firecrackers onto a ginger ale can. This video is not sponsored by any ginger ale soda company. <laughs> Let's strap it down there. And remember, I make these videos to entertain and educate. They're not for you to emulate. Don't ever try anything like this at home. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's find that can. <laughs> oh, looks it's got a little bit of ginger ale left in it. Oh, nice. Didn't open the top, <laughs> but it sure did open it. All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Whatever. <laughs>